progress. Progress. Progress in Afghanistan. We've begun to reverse the momentum. We have made progress in Afghanistan. But we are not losing in Afghanistan. And the new NBC News Wall Street Journal poll shows just how badly the American people have turned against the war in Afghanistan. 68% of those polled now say they think the war will not end successfully. May 2010, more than 1,100 IED incidents, and that compares to May of last year, just over 500. Again, a doubling of the violence. Is your job here now as commander to try to slow down that Washington clock? I think our job is again to show those in Washington that there is progress being made. Have you turned the tide? I believe we're doing that now. So the inputs we think now are, are about right and now we're starting to see the first of the output regaining the initiative, uh, making headway. Steady progress. There is progress being made. We've got to build on the progress. We've heard this spin before. Here's the truth. A big setback today in their attempt to root out Taliban insurgents. A major offensive in Afghanistan is responsible for the deaths of at least 63 civilians. Taliban is increasing its reach, its capabilities, and popularity. We're fighting a ragtag outfit to know better than a draw. Ten years in. Uh, we know June, uh, just last month, the deadliest month of the nine-year war. June uh, of 2010, more than 100 coalition forces killed, 58 of them U.S., and that is more than double uh, what it was just one year ago. July is now the deadliest month for U.S. troops in Afghanistan. Just Friday, NATO announced six more U.S. troops had died, bringing the death toll to at least 66 for the month and breaking the previous month's record. The Afghanistan war isn't making us safer, and it's not worth the cost. Join us as we fight back against the spin.